In this video, you will learn how to create mind-blowing long exposure photos using a new and innovative technique called the Sexy Plexi Method. Are you listening? Damn. This is Johnny A from Simulate the Night. Today I'm going to demonstrate how you can add organic looking drawings, logos, or images into your long exposure photos. This technique creates a unique and visually appealing effect and it's a whole lot of fun. As much as I've experimented with and pushed this technique, I can't take credit for this awesome idea. The man behind the madness is none other than our friend, Stanley Leonard. Let's check in with Stan and then I'll dive in a little deeper. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to take a piece of plexiglass and a dry erase marker and you're going to write or draw whatever you want on there and then you're going to paint that in light um, through the plexi tracing the line that you drew on the plexiglass and it turns out really amazing. It has that nice organic natural look of the light uh, as if you were freehand painting it and uh, the plexiglass doesn't show up in the picture at all and it gives you that crisp, clean, awesome design that you wanted but weren't always able to achieve just freehand. Here's what you'll need. Links to the items in this video can be found in the description below. A sheet of plexiglass, light stands or something to lean your plexiglass on, clamps to attach plexiglass to the stands, dry erase markers in either red or pink. Why only pink and red? We'll explain that later. A light source. I recommend a simple pen style light that you can turn on and off while tracing. To begin, you need to decide on a design. For this video, I'm going to draw Charmander. Because I like Pokemon. Next, you are going to trace or draw your design onto plexiglass. You can print out and trace the design or just sketch freehand. You want to simplify your design in order to make it quick and easy to trace. Pro tip, use a red or pink dry erase marker. All other colors are not visible in the dark. After you've finalized your design, set up your plexiglass to be standing up at a 90 degree angle. Next, you want to set up your camera pretty close in front of the plexiglass. Now you want to take some time to get to know your image from behind. Once you've practiced tracing it a few times, it's time to turn off the lights and do some test shots. You want to be somewhere that is completely dark, and since you're shining a light directly into your camera's sensor, you want to close up that aperture pretty tight. Pro tip, having a manual lens is ideal for the sexy plexi method, as you can change your aperture mid-exposure. Start it out with a tight aperture so that you don't let much light in while you're tracing. Then open it up wide at the end to let in a lot of light and show your subject. Before you open your shutter, position your light source at a good starting point on the plexiglass. Then trigger your shutter and trace your design turning off your light between separate lines that aren't connected. Play with your settings and light strength until you get a bright and clean result. When you try the Sexy Plexi method, be sure to tag us in your post. We can't wait to see what you come up with. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. Thanks for watching. Stimulate the night. Peace. <laughs> All right, I'm getting real lively now. Whew.